I'm back, ready for more. Been out here working on this wood so long, I'm turning into a daggum elf. But here is our brush and sanded wood that's gonna be a base of our tabletop. Really happy the way it turned out. So now, what we gotta do is join these together. And I went out and I got this tool. It's called a Craig jig. I mean, it's called a jig. That's kind of why I wanted to buy it. But what the jig does is it allows you to join corners like that. Now originally, how I planned on doing this, cutting the ends at 45s and then placing them together. But to be honest with you, I wasn't sure how to join those corners with this tool, the Craig jig. And I spent so much daggum money on it and I wanted to make sure I used the jig and all the screws that came with it because I felt like I'd be wasting money if I didn't. It makes it real nice, a real nice snug fit structurally and then also it just looks real good. Just look at that wood, y'all. Isn't that fantastic? It's even got some of the original nails. This table is gonna be awesome for so many reasons, but I think one of the main reasons is because I'm building it. When I put my microphone and my lures on this table, I'm knowing I built this daggum thing. I did something with my life. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's get to making some pocket holes. Drilling into super old wood. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Okay, so when you pull this thing out, I went through a little knot there. Jeez, that was a toughie. So this will be on the inside of the table. This is the top, and that'll be the inside. And then I'll screw these in and it'll connect. And then you won't see anything from the outside, but it's a super strong connection. Let's put our first corner together, shall we? Well, from what I can tell, that turned out pretty nicely with the pocket holes. My first time doing that. Clampies, monster help. Because when you start drilling in those pocket holes, things want to twist and move on you. I'm gonna do that same setup, right y'all? And we're gonna have three parts of a table. Then we just gotta put one more on there. We got four corners. Hey, honey. So, I see you've been uh, up and at it this morning. You woke up to this. I woke up to that. That thing is awesome. So that's the foundation. That is the stronghold of the that, table. That's the frame. I love frame. it. Look how there's like character marks in it and everything. Look see how good that is. Yeah, I mean. It's gonna be I'm, a great table. It needs to be like on display or something. Oh, it's gonna be on display on this camera to the Fisher Freaks. I've okay. not gone to the grocery store in like a week and a half. I need hydration and I need meat. <laughs> So all of this wood started out this way. It started out looking crusty, gross, looked like things had pooped on it for a long time. This one's probably got some old lead-based paint on it, which is why I'm wearing this mask. Probably not OSHA approved, but I'm gonna wear it anyway. We're gonna put some TLC into this board right here. This is gonna be our last one to complete the, the whole planks of the table. Real nice. Let's get to clean it up. I don't even know what this was. <coughs> I don't know why that is so green under there. That is just green paint. Like it was on the side of a barn or something painted John Deere green. Boards are no longer crusty. They look pretty good and I found a few other ones that had these cool I don't know if that's like old oil stain marks or burn marks, but it gives it some pretty neat little character. I 
never worked on a wood project like this and I don't know what I'm doing, so I've been taking my time. Because I know this is special wood and I don't want to screw it up, plus it's going in my office and it's going to be on a ton of videos. Gaps in the cracks, clean, ready to go. I'm going to throw wood glue inside of here. Then I'm going to squeeze them together like an angry bear for probably 12 to 24 hours and then place it inside of our rectangle. Probably going to have to do some sanding as well. The little fitting adjustments, there's still a lot more to go. But when this thing is done, I'm gonna be a proud man. I've done measurements, I've done work the wood good, I've sanded, I've sniffed it a few times. It's ready to be a table now. Show them what we have. Vision it, vision it. Look at it's it. It's all about vision. Look at it. Uh, can you see it? Can you envision it? This old wood transformed into something absolutely gorgeous. Look at all this awesome grain. It's gonna match the fish cave perfectly. I'm super happy with it. Sense of accomplishment every day when you're doing something like this. There's a cold front coming in. We gotta put the wood game on pause, and then we gotta get our dangle on. So I'll see you back here in a few. So it's back to more grinding and brushing and grinding until we get the perfect fit, but this is going to be a nice, perfect, smooth top. Hey. Hey. I'm ruining a shot. No. Pregnant lady crossing. Coming through. Last one. Promise. It's up to you. I'm good. I'm out. Promise she out. I don't like when she meanders because she ends up finding things that I have to fix, i.e., honeydews. So before we go getting all saw happy, we gotta make some measurements. The width of our table is approximately 28 and 7 eighths inches. So that means we're gonna be cutting pieces of wood that are 14 and round 3 eighths inches. And we're gonna make those into 45 degree angles so they wedge themselves up into the 90 degree corners. God bless power tools. I just checked one of my boards. All the other corners are this family of wood right here from the same plank, and this one is different. Slower growing, smaller rings, harder. This one's a faster growing, lighter. This one's just not gonna do. I need one more of these. Now, does that really matter for the structure of the table? Absolutely not. But how many days I'm in this thing? I don't even know. I'm in a vortex, a table build. I want to be able to say I went 100% on my outdoor man fish cave place. I built the wall, I built the table, I built the cabinetry. I did it all with 100% effort. Nobody can take that away from me ever. One of these days, I'm gonna build a workbench. That's my next thing. Man, I like this little thing. It's pretty nice. These mosquitoes are absolutely tearing me up. I got a thermocell unit on and they're swarming all around it. Why? All right, this next step is going to have to wait. All I can hear is just all around me. I think this cool front that came in has got these mosquitoes super active. And I've got one of these thermosil units, <coughs> so I can hardly breathe around. <coughs> but they don't care. They're all up in that thing. You're welcome back. It's happening. It's coming together. Pocket holes. I was able to drill some and not get destroyed by the mosquitoes. Oddly enough, I just realized I'm wearing a Skeeter shirt. But I'm gonna digress on to the next step, which is mounting our four inside frame pieces. It's a big moment here. So corners are braced. I made a boo-boo right here. There should be pocket holes right there, but there's not. But they're on the other side. So the boards are gonna be laying like this. Okay, here we go. I've laid these boards inside of the frame and it's looking fantastic. 
and there's about a sixteenth of an inch on each side of, of clearance so it fits in there really tight and then I gotta figure out how to put these together on here where there's not gonna be any shifting at all but we have come a long ways on this party it is time to go mobile I've reached a point in this table build where my tools and my knowledge are no longer able to push this table forward. I need knowledge. I need advancement. And that's where Lance comes in. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at an advanced workshop here. This is my buddy Lance's workshop. There isn't a thing in here he hasn't made all these cabinets all these tables all these tools well some of them he didn't make but everything in here is his advanced tools for projects and crafting there might be an acronym there advanced tools for projects and crafting anyways he's got everything a man would ever need to craft wood and he's great at it let me quickly show you guys the advanced work this this guy does okay he built this table this is a carpenter's table right it's a woodworking table right a here woodworking table. Right. and it's put together by these uh these are called dogs you take this butt it up against there if this is a piece of wood move all this paper and stuff out of the way and paint pop this one up put that right there take this and put it down and bam that ain't moving so, so all these wheels are functional they're all functional and you take this and you just spin it like that and this thing ain't going nowhere. Didn't go to Weatherford Junior College for trade you know craft. Where, you, you know where I learned all this? YouTube. The good old YouTuber. <laughs> you went into a wood hole. This is all I have right now. I have one of these and I have this tool belt right here, Lance. I'll tell you something, out of all the equipment I have and all the years of woodworking, I don't own a tool belt. You don't? No, but I own these pants right here. <laughs> right? Years of glue. <laughs> How many uh, projects have been uh, contributed to those pants? Everything I've ever done. Everything in here. I own these from Weatherford, so they're like... At least 10 years old. Oh. Or 12. This man has got talent, so that's why I came here. We've shifted the table here. What we got to do is we're going to cut these tongue and grooves so everything is going to lay flat. I've already started on some of them, Lance, but I realized I didn't have the, the right tools. What were you using to... I was uh, using a jigsaw, and that is that is probably a crime in your world. Okay, so you just want these to be square pieces of wood. Basically. Oh, well, I'll tell you something right now. When you trim these tongue and grooves off, you might need another piece. No. Um, before we cut, I'm just saying, Pause. I'm just saying a quarter inch and it adds up quick. So I know you don't have any more of this stuff. No. And then what kind you, of wood is this, you Lance? Can't buy, you can't buy this from Home Depot. This is probably heart pine. And they call it heart pine because the actual little rings. And so this is real hard. It's almost like oak. But because we go through uh, so much lumber in the United States these days, the uh, farms for pine. They grow them fast. They're thicker, yeah. So, so the, that's a very If old you go get a two by four from uh, Home Depot, there might be three rings, like one, two, and three or four. Now there's probably yeah. 15, 20. By making a table and you just add four legs, it's probably gonna have a tendency to, to possibly wrap. I would say 60% uh, of woodworking is standing around and staring at it. <laughs> now this right here is a table saw. Is this the one that you have the mechanism in? The hot wall? log saw. So if I were to stick my finger on this thing while it's running, it would stop immediately, it would drop below the table, and I would have just a little tiny nick. And I'm not saying we're gonna test that right now. That'd probably be a viral video, but it's safe. We're gonna be wearing our safety goggles today, keeping our eyeballs safe so we can get those large mouth in the spring. What you do is you flip this up. This, you take that flat side, reference on this flat side, all line up, when they come together, you run it through over the joiner, and you send it through the planer. You're gonna lose material that's gonna keep going down. Planer, joiner, joiner, planer. Normally there are two machines, a joiner machine and a planer machine. They make combos now. Well, so this is why you have all these tools, right? Uh, yeah, okay, I guess. So technically, so now we're gonna go back to the old, the old faithful track saw. That is connected to hoses throughout this entire workshop. Woo! Now that is a vacuum. That's five horsepower. Five horsepower. Sounded like a 250 HPDI. Decently clean cut, still 
I wouldn't take any more off right there. Every board has a flush edge now, thanks to Lance and his festoon. Hopefully, we did things right and we're not gonna have a full gap. You ready? Mm-hmm. The work just began. We got a gap and we're out of wood. Lance knew we were going to run into this because he's been doing this for a long time. He might need another piece. No. When we started taking a little bit off, 16th and the 16th, then we ran out of room. So we got to make an adjustment. We got to move this table inward. It's not good, people. We got problems. It's time to cut the table. Last option. Well, friends, a snag has indeed occurred with the table. It's just too short, there's a gap there. So everything I measured for in the beginning, I didn't account for cutting off those tongue and grooves being that big of a gap. The option right now is to cut the big boards on the table so that they connect tightly with those small little floorboards. Do I wanna do that? Heck no. I spent so much time working on this thing, but at this point, it's the only option unless I wanna have a huge gap in the table. There's still one thing that hasn't been talked about and that is the legs. So I sat there and I talked to Lance and we got to discussing what if we change this table up. We just bring the table legs in where it's gonna join with the other pieces of wood that I've already cut. It's gonna make the table stronger. It's gonna show off more of that awesome wood. It's just gonna overall be a better piece of furniture. So yes, what I'm telling you is that I'm taking the table that we've already built, chopping it up, and making a way cooler design. I gotta tell you what, learning any new craft isn't easy, and woodcraft definitely ain't. But I'm determined to have one of the best handcrafted wood tables in the outdoor YouTube game. So, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. If you wanna see more woodcraft action, go ahead and click over here. If you wanna to subscribe to the channel, ow, right over there. And if you wanna see just some of the latest uploads we got going on, right here. I'll see you guys on the next one.